I will be using... <laughs> How do I hold two bottles? Uh, like that? Yeah. Like that. Nope, not like that. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Loranda and I'm a makeup artist. I go by Ruthless Cosmo on all socials and I am getting back into filming YouTube videos after not uploading for, I think like four years. Oops. For today's video, I have both the Ipsy Plus and I have the BoxyCharm Lux. Uh, that rhymes and I didn't intend for it to, but it works. <laughs> if by the end of today's video, you guys are interested in signing up for either of these subscriptions, which I highly recommend both of them, um, I will leave my referral links down below. I don't make money off of these. These are just two subscriptions that I've genuinely loved and had for a couple of years at this point. Um, and I think that they're both really great ways to get introduced to new brands and to be able to try new products. And you get also, um, they have like an online store. Both of them have an online store to where you can even buy some of the products that they have in other boxes or bags that you can buy for discounts, like a, like a really, really big discount. Um, and I think that this is a really great way to get introduced to new brands and new products, especially if you're new to makeup. Um, I have Ipsy Plus, which I believe is five full-size products. And then I have both the base box for BoxyCharm and then I have the Boxy Luxe subscription. The base box for BoxyCharm is going to be five full-size products as well. And I believe the Luxe is eight full-size products, eight to 10. Sometimes they give you uh, like a couple extra items if one of the items inside of that month are smaller, like an eyeliner or something. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So the first one that we're going to do is Ipsy. So they always come in like a pink envelope like this, which is really cute. Um, it's kind of like a staple, like if you see that pink envelope, you know that that's Ipsy. Um, and this is what, this. so this one is actually February. My subscription for Ipsy comes at the end of the month. So if I wanna film Ipsy and BoxyCharm together, um, it's usually gonna be last month's Ipsy box with this month's BoxyCharm. So this is February's Ipsy bag and this is what it looks like. It's super cute, it has little like lipsticks and eyelashes and mascara wands all over it and it does say Ipsy. And let's see what we have inside of here. Okay, so usually they send a little piece of paper that tells you all of the products that you get, and then it tells you the prices, but this month, for some reason, they didn't do that. This is just kind of like an advertisement for this month's box. Um, but I am logged into my Ipsy account here, so I can see the prices of everything. So I will go over those as I pull out the products. So jumping into the first product. Ooh, okay. So I kind of love the packaging. It's gonna just gonna be like this taupe gray color. <laughs> They're both like a really pretty light pink color. This one is a little bit more peach and this one is a little bit uh, lighter, a little bit cooler too. This one is really shimmery and this one is more matte. Um, this is the Complex Culture Good Glow <laughs> Blush Duo in So Chill and Glow Rush. Let's see how much this one. This one is marked as Clean Beauty, which is awesome. And this one retails for $30. Next item that we have in here, Clean Skin Club, uh, Vitamin C Brightening Booster, Watermelon, Green Tea, and Pineapple. It definitely smells like green tea and maybe a little bit like watermelon as well. I can't really smell the pineapple, but it does smell really good. So this retails for $50. All right. Next product, what do we have? Let's do this little guy. This one is also marked as Clean Beauty, so that's exciting. Ooh, okay. A badass does not talk about being a badass. Interesting, okay, so this is actually a really cute package. This is what this looks like right here. Uoma Beauty Badass Icon Matte Lipstick. And it feels, like this is metal, like this feels really heavy. Oh, it's so pretty that I don't even wanna swatch it. And on here, I don't know if you can see, but it says badass on here with like this red packaging. I am obsessed with this. I don't even know that I, I don't, like, I don't even care how this formula is. I love, oh my God. <laughs> it's magnetic too. This, this packaging. I love this packaging. Um, I might keep this packaging in mind for when I do my makeup brand. Um, anyways, this product is, or this lipstick is $24. Um, so that's like an average, price for a lipstick, so. All right, already really excited about that product. So we should have two more in here. So what are we gonna grab next? Oh, 
I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Iglet? <laughs> Iglet Skin London? I don't know how to pronounce this brand. Um, but this is a charcoal black peel off mask. Interesting. So I usually don't like black charcoal peel off masks because they usually just kind of hurt. And I've also been told that they actually aren't that good for your skin, but maybe this one's different. I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> I thought that said $483. This retails for $48.34. All right, so we have one more product in here. Let's see what it is. This is the By Rose New York Fake Renewal Oil. And this guy retails for $72. $72 for this. It's kind of beautiful. So maybe it's not as bad. I don't know. We'll see. I want to smell you. This is a really pretty bottle. It smells, it smells like vegetables. It smells like vegetables. So I added up the total for all of the products in this bag and the total came out to $224.34. I believe I paid $29.99, it's either $29.99 or $39.99. I wanna say it's $29.99 though. I think it's only $30 for Ipsy Plus. So $30 compared to $224 if you were to buy all of these products separately, it's a pretty good deal. Now let's see what BoxyCharm has for us. So I don't know how well you're, how well you're gonna be able to see this, but I just got a text from BoxyCharm um, <laughs> basically saying, uh, hey, you should buy this month's BoxyCharm Lux. Uh, it says BoxyCharm, this Lux is a must. Spring Lux includes eight full-size beauty items from brands like Dry Bar, Iconic London, Frank Body, Glow Recipe, and more up to a $345 value for only $59.99. So I already have it, it's right here. <laughs> and I guess it just told me how much I paid for it. I paid $59.99 for this. So $60 and it is supposed to be a $345 value. So let's open this up. This, that kind of also like spoiled a little bit of like what brands we're gonna be getting in here, but that's okay, cause it, I don't care. But let's open this up and see if this is actually a $345 value or not. So the first thing that I'm pulling out is the BoxyCharm paper. Uh, if you don't wanna be like, if you don't want what's in this box to be spoiled for you, um, don't look at this when you first open it because this tells you all of the products and the prices that they are. So I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna pull everything out of it. And then I'm also gonna look at these prices um, as I pull them out so we know how much they were. And, oh my God, I'm so excited about this first product already. I also really like how they like wrapped this one specifically. Um, so this is a mini Natasha Den Denona palette. It says, this is Natasha Denona Cupid. I love Natasha Denona palettes. They're so good. So this is what this one looks like. These mini guys retail for $48. Like getting Natasha Denona palettes alone is worth it in my opinion because her eyeshadows are so good. So first palette, so excited about. Um, okay, let's see what's this next thing that we have in here. We have a Lawless uh, Forget the Filler Limp Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. This retails for $25. Ooh, okay. So this is a really pretty packaging. It's kind of like a rose gold um, tin like cap. And then the glass is like a, what is that? Like the fogged, fogged glass. It's not fogged. I don't remember what this is called, but it's, it, it's like you can't see through it. And it's really pretty. Oh, and so far this doesn't really have a smell. So that's actually a good sign. The next product that we have is Ren Clean Skin Care Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream. Interesting. This guy retails for $49. Um, skincare products are kind of harder to test on camera because I, you kind of usually have to use them for like a week or two to really see if you like them or not. Um, so I'll probably do a follow-up video on all of these on my Instagram. So you'll want to make sure that you're following me to be able to keep up with smaller videos like that, that I don't necessarily want to do a dedicated long YouTube video for. So make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can keep up with things like that as well. 
The next item that we have in here looks a little interesting. This is by Frank Body called Perky Sculpting Body Hydrator. So it comes in a cute little box like this and on the back it says deeply hydrating, helps to reduce the appearance of cellulite through moisture and massage and it's caffeinated for perky skin. No pegs and parabens. And this, so this is a cruelty free product, which I love that. And it also says 93% naturally derived. Reusable coffee cup. Oh, that's cute. All right. This is interesting. I've never seen something like this. So this is really cute. Um, the Frank Body Perky Sculpting Body Hydrator retails for $19.95. So 20 bucks, not bad. Next thing, this is pretty cool. Um, Iconic London, I usually like a lot of their products, so I always like getting things from them. This is a multi-use sculpting palette. So this is what the packaging looks like, and let's see the inside. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so satisfying. Whew. Ooh, I can smell the adhesive on that. So it has a beautiful mirror as well. Hi, you can see my desk. So this is what all of the colors look like. And it looks like this is a cream sculpting palette, which I'm really excited about because I feel like finding a good cream contour palette is hard. Most of the time they're powder and I actually really, love, I prefer cream usually. So this is cool. I'm excited to try this. Let's see how much this is. Um, Iconic London multi-use sculpting palette is $49. Oh, you can already see all of the fingerprints. That's the problem with this type of packaging is like, Fingerprint. All right, the next thing that we have in here is Aria Beauty Lux Oval Detangling Brush. That's cool. Comes in a cute little bag. So this brush retails for $34.99 and it's this really pretty like bluish gray color. I have really curly hair naturally and I usually don't brush my hair. The most I will do is I'll just like run my fingers through when it's wet um, when I'm like applying products, but you know, it's always good to have a nice brush on hand. Okay, so two more products in here. The first one, the first one, I think this is actually number seven. So this is gonna be the Liquid Glass Miracle Smoothing Sealant from Dry Bar. Lasting, lasts through three washes. So this is what this looks like. It says heat activated technology wraps an invisible shield around each hair strand to provide to provide frizz resistance. Leaves a super glossy, silky finish without weighing hair down. Lasts through three washes. Protects from heat up to 470 or 450 degrees Fahrenheit. This guy retails for $34. Okay, so my camera is about to die, but I have one last product in here, and this is the Give Them La La Skin Stay Calm Soothing Sheet Masks, Aloe Infused. So it's just a really pretty green box that looks just like this. So these retail for $30. So I just added up all of the prices and everything that I got in my box. Um, the text message that I just got did say up to $354, I believe. This box only came out to be $289.94. But even then, basically $300 when I only paid 60 is still really, really good. So. For the next part of this video, I am going to use what I can of these products and I am going to do my makeup. So let me switch my battery out of my camera real fast and I will be right back. Battery is changed and I gave my camera a few minutes to like rest and cool down a little bit. Um, and I am ready for the try on portion of this video. So because this isn't like a tutorial or like a full get ready with me video um, where I'm gonna show you all of my steps and all of my products that I'm using, I'm just going to be showing the portions of the products that I got in these boxes so I can kind of talk about how they're performing, how they feel, and basically if I like them or not. So because I got skincare products, I am going to use these as primers. So these are the two oils that I'm gonna be using as my primer. So Clean Skin Club Vitamin C Brightening Booster. This is the one that has like the milky texture. Um, I also really like to, whenever I'm doing my skincare, I always like to make sure that I'm bringing it all the way up around my eyes like this and that I bring it down to my neck. Technically you should always apply your products going upward so you're not dragging the skin down, but sometimes I forget and I just do the thing. Okay. Fig Renewal Oil. So this product says, warm a few drops in the palms of your hand and apply it over the face, neck, and decollete after cleansing and before or after moisturizing. 
Oh, so it definitely starts to smell more like grass uh, when you warm it up. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the Ren Clean Skincare Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream. So I'm just taking a little bit like that and then I usually like to apply it onto both fingers like that and I will apply my eye cream. Okay, that was kind of a lot. I like to apply my eye cream all around the orbital bone. Now that my skin is all prepped, um, since I don't have any foundation or concealer to try out, I'm going to go ahead and off camera do my foundation, my concealer, and my brows, and I will get ready for both cream contour and blush. I'll be right back. All right, so I am back. My base is done, my brows are on, and now it is time to go in with the iconic London cream contour palette. So for my contour, I think I'm actually going to use this medium shade right here. You have like a lighter one, a darker one, and then a darkest one. So you have light, medium, dark, and then, so I think I'm gonna start with this one for my contour. And then I'm probably going to be using this first one over here for highlight. I just started applying the contour and realized that I never hit film. So <laughs> uh, I'm using the two lightest shades, uh, the lighter contour shade, and I'm gonna be going in with the highlight shade as well. And yeah, so since you missed that. <laughs> dusted my face with some translucent powder and I did a little bit of powder bronzer as well. Um, and now I'm gonna go in with blush. I'm gonna use this more like peachy color right here. And I use, I like to use the same brush that I apply bronzer with. Um, Cause I feel like it kind of just like mixes the colors together nicely. And then I can kind of just dust it on. Ooh, that's really pretty. Now I am going to zoom you in so you can see what I'm going to be doing on my eyes and I'm going to be using this palette. So I'm going to do everything on this eye first and then off screen I'm going to finish this eye, add liner and lashes and I'll be right back for the lips as well. finished eye look and I think after being clipped up my bangs are not wanting to cooperate but we'll just ignore that it's fine and this is the part that I'm really excited about because it is time to it's time to put this lipstick on and I'm so excited about this 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 lipstick I just I can't get over this packaging it's beautiful and I'm so excited so okay okay let's go <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> red color. I'm so excited. Now before I put the lip gloss on, I'm just going to do my reverse lip liner. To clean it up. And now, um, I don't think that I'm going to apply this directly from the applicator because whenever I'm wearing lipstick and I go to put a lip gloss on, I don't like to, I don't, I don't like to get the applicator like dirty with like other colors because then sometimes it'll transfer in the future and if I ever want to use this just like with no lip color on then that kind of sometimes stains it. Um, so I'm just going to apply this with my lip and see how this lip plumper feels. Oh it's very sticky. I don't like sticky glosses usually because um, 
my hair usually ends up sticking in it and sometimes after a while you get like that weird buildup on the inside of your lips and it's like gross it doesn't look good um so i don't know when i'll be wearing this but it does feel kind of cooling um yeah i don't know we'll see all right and here is the final look i really hope you enjoyed watching me unbox these subscriptions today um again if you don't have Ipsy and or, and or BoxyCharm and you're a makeup lover, I don't know what you're doing because both of these subscriptions are amazing and they're definitely worth the price. Um, and I highly recommend them. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and like it so that I know that you liked it and make sure to subscribe. And hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.